guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my last Halloween video of 2019. I have had so much fun with this series this year, trying some of the weirdest costumes I've ever seen. If you missed any of my Halloween videos, I will put a card right there or a link in the description to the playlist so you can binge those and catch up. But today we are going to be trying cheap versus expensive Halloween costumes. So I ordered 10 costumes, five cheap ones and five expensive ones, each like matching up to be the same thing. I don't know. I don't know what this visual is, but you get what I mean. So uh, subscribe to my channel. If you are new, we are on the road to 1 million subscribers and we are so close. It's crazy. Also, I just found out I was nominated for a Screamy Award for Fashion Creator of 2019, which is so freaking cool. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to everyone who nominated me or is subscribed to my channel or even who is just watching this video. You guys are making my dreams come true every single day. I have the coolest freaking job in the world. Now let's try some of these Halloween costumes. So the first costume that we're going to be comparing is a cheap and an expensive version of a costume for Rey from Star Wars. So the cheap version is called Galaxy Rebel Rey. It is from easycostumes.com. I got it in an extra large and it was $32.99. And then I got an expensive version of the Rey costume from Amazon that was literally triple the price of the cheap one. It was $95.80 and I got it in an extra large. So let's try these on. So here is the cheap Ray costume. It's not awful. Honestly, it's about what I would expect for around $30. It comes with just about everything you'd need except for maybe a staff. <laughs> Has the little satchel wrap around. And I also really like how that kind of doubles as giving waist definition. The like flowy fabric pieces are attached to the bodysuit. And the main piece is just a bodysuit. And then you have these little arm covers that just slide up. I think it looks cute. Like looking at the costume, I think this looks cute. If I saw someone wearing this at a party, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I love your Ray costume. But actually wearing it, you can definitely feel the issues with the quality. First of all, this bodysuit is just like the world's worst camel toe waiting to happen. You kind of have to keep pulling the little shorts down. But the problem is, is the bodysuit is pretty cheaply made, especially the snaps. There are like snaps in the crotch. And so if you pull the shorts down too aggressively, you'll pop off the snaps and then you'll just flash the entire world. <laughs> like the only thing between your underwear and the rest of the world is three cheap plastic snaps. And for me personally, that is not ideal. Also, the bodysuit construction is just not great. The top of it with the fabric pieces is fine, but actually like snapping it and getting it on, it's kind of like short crotched, if that makes sense. It's not meant for someone with a long torso. And I don't have a particularly long torso. I'm like 5'4", but if someone tall was trying to wear this, they would not be able to do the snaps. It would, there just wouldn't be enough fabric. It's pretty cute. I like it, but I would just have to cover my camel toe with this the entire night. <laughs> so next I'm gonna try on the expensive version and then I'm gonna give a final verdict if I think the cheap costume is better or if it's worth it to spend the extra money for the expensive version. Okay, so first things first, the amount of pieces and like the quality of each piece in this costume is insanely good. Like the other one was like a Ray Halloween costume. This is like a movie accurate Ray cosplay set. I mean, there are just so many layers and pieces to this costume. So first we have like the undershirt, like the little kind of potato sacky tank top. And then we have the like gray Jedi looking vest thing. It's kind of like a vest dress. And then you have the like crossover fabric pieces, which each of these are individual pieces and they like snap together. So there's little snaps on the top of the vest and then you connect the pieces to them so that they're not just loose, but that they still get that like draping casual Jakku aesthetic. I cannot believe I just said Jakku aesthetic. <laughs> Anyways, and then you have the pants, like the green pants, which are a little bit too small on me. Everything else, the sizing was perfect, but the pants are just a little bit too tight in the waist. So I just zipped them up a little bit and didn't do the top button, which is honestly fine because you can't see anything because of all the layers. But if anyone is interested in ordering this costume, just know the pants do run a little bit small, at least in the waist for me. And then you have the belt, which is like an actual leather belt that has like a, a holster and like a, like a, normal belt connector in the back. Like it's not Velcro or anything. Then you have the satchel, which is the same way. And then the arm wraps and then the like leather wrist cuff thing. There's so much to this. Now that being said, 
I don't think that more is always better. I think this does look a little bit busy and really bulky and it doesn't necessarily feel the most comfortable because I do feel like I have so much going on. But you can tell there was a lot of like care that went into making this costume. I, I don't know if it's handmade, but it definitely feels handmade. I feel like this isn't as much of like a Ray Halloween costume as it is like a Comic-Con costume. Like you would actually wear this like to a convention. Whereas the cheaper Ray costume was really like a kind of like a sexy Ray Halloween costume. <laughs> so that being said, it really just depends on what you're going for. Personally, I don't think I would go with either of these costumes. This one is just a little bit too much and it was a hundred dollars, but then the cheap costume is not the best quality and uh, you might end up flashing the world. So honestly, I wouldn't recommend either of these, but if I had to pick, I, I guess I would go with this one because yeah, it's a hundred dollars, but you are kind of getting what you pay for. The next costume we're gonna compare is Hermione from Harry Potter and I am a huge Harry Potter nerd so I'm very very excited about this costume. Let me know down in the comments if you're a Harry Potter nerd and if you are what is your Hogwarts house? I am a Gryffindor. So I guess it's fitting that I'm dressing as Hermione but our cheap costume is from Amazon. It is called the Dream Girl Woman's Wizard costume. This costume was $23.64 and I got it in a 1x 2x. And then the expensive version that we got is from Hot Topic. It is called the Harry Potter Gryffindor Student Deluxe Costume Set. I got this one in an extra large and it was $83.94. Now let's compare. So I'm a little bit confused about this costume on a few levels. So this is the cheap one, which on Amazon said it was called the Dream Girl Woman's Wizard Costume. And then this is like the insert on the bag that it came in and it's called Wizard Wanda. And uh, it comes with the Coke bottle glasses and she's wearing those in the photo. But that makes me think that this is meant to be a sexy Harry costume and not a sexy Hermione costume. I think I just assumed that it's supposed to be sexy Hermione because it's like a, a woman's costume, but maybe it's sexy Harry after all. Anyways, let's get into the costume. So it comes with this very skimpy dress, which I would definitely have to wear tights or shorts with because in the back, it's literally showing my butt. And then uh, it's also very low cut. So personally, I would probably wear some sort of tank top with this if I was gonna wear it, but to each their own. It also comes with the cape, which has the little tie attached to it, the glasses and the wand, which uh, looks more like a bamboo chopstick than it looks like a Harry Potter wand. But the fact that they even included it is something. For $23, honestly, it's not bad. It does come with all four pieces, which I think is nice. It's definitely a, a little bit short and low cut for my taste, but that's more of a taste thing than a quality thing. I feel like late high school, early college Sierra would have loved this because it's nerdy and it's Harry Potter, but it's also like, a sexy costume. The quality is fine. It's comfortable. It's not see-through. It runs true to size. So not necessarily my taste, but it's not a bad costume. I'm very interested to compare though. So let's try the expensive one. Hot Topic, I have a bone to pick with you. You gave me no pants and no shirt. So this costume was on sale. The original price was 139. I don't know if because it was a clearance item, maybe it got mixed up and they didn't include all the pieces, but uh, it was supposed to come with a little gray plaid skirt and that did not come. So I have no pants. I just pulled the sweater down to be a dress. And also it's shown with a white collared shirt under the sweater, which it also did not come with. So uh, not great on that front, but if, if we just ignore that for a second, this is a really fantastic costume. The robe is super nice. It's really high quality. It fits well. The sweater is also really nice. It comes with like an actual tie that you had to tie. This is my, my best go at tying a real tie. As you can see, I am not very good at it, but maybe it would look better if it was on the collared shirt that I didn't get in my order. It's such a bummer that they left those two items out of my order because I think this costume would be honestly fantastic if it wasn't for that. It's cute. It's fun. It could have been perfect if I just had pants. So I'll definitely email the Hot Topic customer service and see if they can send me the skirt because I do think this is a great costume. Other than that, definitely leagues above the cheap version and I think definitely worth it, especially considering that this one was on sale. So it was $83, which is still expensive, but I feel like for the quality that you're getting, if you also include pants, it's worth the price. Now I, I wouldn't pay that price for not having a skirt, but Hopefully they will be able to correct the order 
and send me the skirt. The, the button up shirt, I don't care as much about because that's easy to replace. I have a white collared shirt, but the skirt is uh, a little bit harder to find something that would go perfectly with this. So I can't believe I'm gonna do this even though they literally didn't give me the skirt. But I'm gonna say the Hot Topic expensive one is worth the higher price point. It's really nice and high quality. You could actually wear this sweater like outside of Halloween, same with the tie. And the robe is really fun. And it makes me feel like I'm like going to Hogsmeade from Hogwarts. Da, 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 da. Next up from The Wizard of Oz, we have a cheap and an expensive version of a Glinda the Good Witch costume. So the cheap one is from wholesalehalloweencostumes.com. It was $40.41, which is still pretty expensive. But I got this one in an extra large. And then the expensive version is from Amazon. I also got this one in an extra large and it was, it's the most expensive costume we've tried so far. $122.50. Yeah, my bank account is gonna hurt after this video. <laughs> this is so cheap and so bad. Oh my freaking gosh. So this is like what the cover of the costume looked like, the little cardboard insert. But I think this feels more like Tooth Fairy than Glinda. Like I guess technically this could be a Glinda costume. It's just the worst possible Glinda costume ever. So the, the crown is literally just like a piece of translucent pink plastic that is like still flattened. And the only reason it has any shape is because it's on my head, but then it kind of like puffs out from being folded. And it's not like it's like, this is a little bit wrinkly, but you could iron this. You can't iron a plastic crown. And then the dress is just like literally so itchy. It's all like tool and really cheap tool. And then it has like glitter on it that the glitter is already all over my hands, all over the ground. You definitely couldn't like wash this and wear this more than once. It, it would have to be like you wear it and then you you trash it, which is just like wasteful and also a waste of money. And this wasn't even that cheap of a cheap costume. It was $40.41. I just, I'm not a fan of this costume. Also, this part right here, the waist is not elastic or anything. So it's hard to get on. It's uh, definitely very cheap quality, cheap material. It's not very comfortable. I don't think it looks very good. This is the first like major, major flop. For $122, I expect more than this. This doesn't look or feel great. The main difference is the dress is just longer. It's still like a very cheap, flimsy material. It does include a hoop skirt, which is nice because it gives that more like full skirt Glinda the Good Witch look. It also does include a little wand, which is kind of fun. The crown is definitely better than the cheap one, but still not great. It's just a piece of foam with one little jewel on it. I feel like for $122, you can definitely do a little bit more. It's a flattering dress. Like I guess it kind of looks nice, but having like a dress this long and like the hoop skirt underneath is giving me flashbacks to my days as a birthday party princess. Here's a photo of me when I used to be a birthday party princess like three years ago. <laughs> this is like totally what they would have had us wear if someone had like, like a, a request for a Glenda party, which never happened. It's just not great. It's also very, very itchy. It has this like glittery gold kind of like lining that's supposed to look like boning, but it's not actually boning. And it's super, super itchy, especially they have this like puffy tool sleeve thing, which I like that it has elastic because it actually stays up, but it's so freaking itchy just being in this for like five minutes, I already just wanna freaking rip it off. Honestly, I thought there was no world in which I would choose the cheap costume as the better option, but honestly, at least with that one, you're spending a third of the money. I would say neither of these are great, but if I had to choose, I would go with the cheap one, which is really sad because I also hated that one. I mean, this one's definitely better. Like it looks better, it's higher quality, it comes with more, but it's not worth an extra $80, definitely not. Be gone with this dress. The next costume that we are doing is Wednesday Adams from the Adams Family. So our cheap costume was $19.97. I got this one in a 12 to 14. And then our expensive version is from Yandy.com, which uh, we had some run-ins with Yandy.com in my sexy Halloween costumes that shouldn't be sexy video. They have some uh, interesting, costumes listed on their site, that's for sure. <laughs> but I got this one in an extra large and it was $66.74, which is one of the cheapest expensive costumes, but it's still triple the price of the cheap version. So we'll see if there's a big difference in the quality and what you get. 
let's try it. So here is the cheap Wednesday Adam costume. It literally just comes with the dress and that's it. It's just one piece. And it says on the front, contains one dress. But I feel like that's all you really need for this costume considering that like the, the collar is attached. You would just wear like tights and boots and do your hair in little braids. And then it's really just about the makeup. So I feel like the dress is enough. I don't think they needed to include anything else. But that being said, the dress is pretty bad. It's very clear that this is not like a collared shirt sticking up underneath the dress. It's literally foam. And so are the wrist cuffs and they have like loose strings hanging off uh, like all over the place. It's not great, but if you're just going for the bare minimum, kind of like a last minute costume and you don't want to spend a lot of money, if you did your hair in braids and did like black lipstick, it would get the point across. But just as is with like my normal hair and makeup, it kind of makes me look more Pilgrim than Wednesday Adams. I'd say it's true to size. It's a 12 to 14 and it fits me exactly the way I would want a dress to fit me like this. So let's see how different the expensive costume is. This is like very, very sexy Wednesday Adams. You know, this is not Wednesday Adams. This is Saturday Night Adams. Hello. Anyways, Wednesday Adams costume. It also comes with these like lacy, sexy fishnet stockings that I did not feel like putting on. And then it also comes with these lace gloves, which feel a little bit unnecessary, but I, I feel like it's fun that they included something extra. And then the dress itself actually is really good quality. I wouldn't say it's very true to the character Wednesday Adams, but if you're gonna make a sexified version, it is pretty cute. It's like this black soft velvety material and it's by far the most comfortable costume that I've tried on so far. Kind of in a similar vein as the cheap Wednesday Adams costume, I feel like you really need the black lipstick and the braids to sell this look. Without it, it's a little bit more like sexy French maid than it is like sexy Wednesday Adams. Even though the dress is very bodycon. I love that at the bottom it's elastic so it really sticks to you but I don't think the dress would ride up even if you were like moving around trick-or-treating dancing a little bit. I don't know who dances like this. <laughs> I am wearing Spanx under this so that's what's giving me a little bit more shape. The dress itself is just like a tight fitted dress. It doesn't really have any structure so I definitely don't need to wear Spanx under this. I don't think anyone ever needs to wear Spanx but I don't think I would have as much structure to the dress if I was wearing it without Spanx. That being said I definitely think this costume is better than the cheaper version and compared to some of the other expensive costumes it wasn't too bad. It was $66 which I do think think is very expensive for a Halloween costume, but the material's nice, it fits well, and I kind of like it. All right, so our next Halloween costume is Harley Quinn, which is definitely one of the more popular costumes for like women in their 20s, especially last year in 2018. I feel like pretty much every single girl was going as Harley Quinn. And like every Harley Quinn costume that I've seen is pretty much the same items. They don't really switch it up that much, but there are so many different price ranges when we started looking up these costumes. And I honestly, I cannot believe I spent this much money on a Halloween costume. But when I saw this one, uh, let me just show you the expensive one. It was $378.88. I got this on Etsy. And when I saw this costume and then the price, I was like, I cannot imagine any world in which a Halloween costume is worth $400. Like, I don't care how good it is. Like, how how is it worth $400? But then my interest was piqued. So I ordered it. I honestly can't believe I did that. But uh, if we're going for the expensive costume, we've got to go for the expensive wig too, because the wig was not included. So the Harley Quinn wig that I got was $91.88. So the costume in total was almost $500. $500! I got it in an extra large. And then the cheap version that I got is from wholesalehalloweencostumes.com in a size 14 to 16. The costume was $39.51. And then I also got a cheap wig to go with it. And that was $14.31. Uh, <laughs> but here's the other thing. So the cheap costume got delivered and then I paid for expedited shipping on the expensive costume and it said it would be delivered by the 16th. And today as we're filming this is the 18th and it still hasn't been delivered. So I'm gonna film trying all of the other costumes today, but I'll have to wait to film the Harley Quinn one. And then I will insert that footage now. 
whenever the costume gets delivered. Here you go. You don't have to wait. I have to wait. All right. So here is the cheap Harley Quinn costume, plus this very high tech, high quality belt that I'm supposed to be wearing, but is way too small for me. This is supposed to be like a low waisted belt. I feel like I could probably make this work as like a, a belt for my true waist, but there's no way that this can fit around my hips. I don't think I needed a size up in anything else. Like the shorts are supposed to be tight fitting, but I'm not like squeezing out of them. And then the shirt and the jacket, which are actually attached, fit like perfectly. They're a little bit loose. They're comfortable. I'd say it's the right size. So I did purchase the wig and the costume separately. So I'm gonna talk about each of them separately. Let's start with the costume. I am actually pleasantly surprised. The belt looks very, very cheap, but the other pieces, the shorts and the stockings and the jacket and top actually don't look that bad, especially from far away. For how cheap they were, I feel like this looks pretty good. When I saw that the jacket and the shirt were one piece at first, I was like, oh no, this is gonna be bad, but it looks totally fine. The only problem would be is if someone was like, oh here, why don't you take off your jacket? Then you'd have to be like, sorry, no can do. The fishnet stockings fit well, which I thought for sure, if anything was gonna be too small, it would be the stockings. Because I always size up in tights and stockings, especially fishnets, I don't wanna be like squeezing out of the little holes. So the costume itself, not bad. The wig, eh, also not awful, but pretty bad. <laughs> no one is gonna be fooled into thinking this is my real hair. The actual like front part of the wig, it, it doesn't look great. The hair feels very scraggly and cheap because it was very cheap, but it's definitely not the worst wig I've ever seen. Flashback to the crazy cat lady wig from Doll's Kill. Definitely way worse than this. Honestly though, if I was going to go as Harley Quinn, I feel like I would just wear my own hair and maybe add some blue and pink tinting to it, wear it in little pigtails. Even though I don't have super blonde hair, I feel like it would get the point across and it would look much better than wearing this cheap wig. It's not bad though. I feel like this costume is definitely a bargain for the price that I paid, but let's try on the very, very expensive version and see uh, if it is actually like 300 something dollars better than this one. How is it possible that I like the, what was it, $20 version better than this like $350 version? I don't like this. I know there's more going on. I know it's higher quality, but confidence level, comfort level, I felt way better in the cheaper version. I'm not even gonna try to like make it a big reveal on which one's better. The I think the other one, obviously it's cheaper, but honestly, I prefer it. Let's walk through this. So it actually didn't come with fishnet stockings. So to keep the look the same, I just left on the ones from the cheap costume, the shorts are literally just built-in camel toe. <laughs> like it is not possible to not have these just like bunching up in my crotch. They're super low rise, which I know is the look of her costume, but they're actually like so low rise that I'm pretty sure I'm showing my butt crack. <laughs> and they also run small. I bought this costume in an extra, extra large. The tag on the inside of these shorts says extra large. And the tag is in Chinese and Chinese sizes run way smaller than American sizes. So if this is a Chinese extra large, that would make this an American like medium. I don't know if that's the case or not. I don't know if it actually is in Chinese sizing just because the tag is in Chinese, but it is definitely not an extra extra large because the tag even says extra large, which is a little frustrating because these are definitely too tight on me. I do not feel comfortable in these. And then the shirt, the tag on the shirt is the same. It's in Chinese and it also says extra large. The material of this shirt is very like clingy. It definitely clings to my stomach. I don't think it's the most flattering. And then the belt, the belt is really high quality, especially compared to the crappy belt in the first costume. It's a real belt. It fits well. It looks good. No complaints on the belt. The jacket, I think is definitely the standout part of this costume. I'll turn around and try not to show my butt, <laughs> but the jacket even has like embroidered detailing on the back, which I think is such a cool touch. Like this is a really cool jacket. If you're a fan of Suicide Squad, I think you could actually just rock this jacket on the daily as a fun little nerdy touch to an everyday outfit. I think the jacket is very, very high quality. I feel like this is probably like a hundred dollar jacket on its own. So the jacket, great. Fine. Definitely better than the cheap version that is actually connected to the shirt. And then the costume also comes with this choker, these two wristbands, and Carly, will you throw me the other thing we couldn't figure out? 
this like harness strap thing that we just could not figure out. We looked at the photos, we couldn't figure out where it went. We kind of thought that it was supposed to go around your shoulders like a backpack, but then like the little clamps don't actually like snap into each other. So I don't know what this is actually supposed to be, but uh, I just left it out of the costume. I think if you're paying 300 plus dollars for a costume, it is great that it includes all these different pieces and elements. The jacket is really nice. I can't stand the shorts. I really don't like the top. And I also don't like that it's not properly sized. Now let's talk about the wig because the wig is definitely a higher quality wig than the cheap one. It's a lace front wig, which if you don't know, is pretty much like the nicest style of wig you can get. The idea is that I can cut this lace right here and then blend it into my makeup so it really looks like it's my natural hair. I didn't take the time to glue the wig down and blend it into my makeup. If I was actually gonna wear this wig for Halloween, I would definitely do that. But it also didn't come in the pigtails. It just came as this long, luscious wig, and so I just had to add in the pigtails, which is a little bit frustrating. I feel if I'm paying that much money for a wig, it should already be styled for me. But it is what it is. The actual quality of the wig is very nice. The hair feels very silky. The quality Quality feels much much better and the wig actually fits to my head very well the wig I would definitely say is better than the cheap version but the costume other than the jacket and the belt it's just not it and it's not flattering I don't feel confident in it and I'm honestly mad that I spent over $300 on this so I'll be selling it on my Poshmark for much cheaper but hopefully someone out there can get enjoyment out of this costume uh, it's not gonna be me though thank you guys so much for watching remember to click that card right there or the link in the description if you want more Halloween content and be sure to subscribe to my channel because I put out new videos every week and you can follow me on Instagram if you want to see more behind the scenes pictures outfit pics all of that you can find that on my Instagram anyways be confident be kind to your body and I will see you guys next time bye